Hello there everyone and welcome to this video. My name is Greenaheem and today I'm bringing you part uh, 58 of Pokemon Reborn. So in the last episode, we made it to Count... Well, we, I think we was already in Kalsanon City actually, but uh, we um, saw some shit with Sirius and uh, he wanted the ruby ring, but Charlotte stole it and then gave it back instantly to fool them. Uh, Sephira also threatened Dr. Connell and said he was going to die. And um, we went and took on Charlotte at the Calcinon gym. And after all these years, I finally defeated her. So we now have the 11th gym badge, the Cinder badge. We can go to level 75. We can use Dive. We can go to Amatrine City. Hopefully we will find Laura and she will not be in a bad state. But oh my god, I'm, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. You have no idea. I'm actually so happy. I've been wanting to finish this game for fucking ages, but I could just never... I had never felt motivated to do it until this Let's Play, because I had to redo the entire game because I couldn't go back and EV train since Reborn City's blocked off, so I couldn't get the berries. But since I EV trained before I went here, my Pokemon were all ready for this. So, oh man, I'm, I'm happy. I'm so happy. The thing, I, the thing that is bothering me now, though, is there is one more Pokemon that I'm still yet to get for my team. And I'm going to need to EV train it before... Well, I need to EV train it the moment I get it. And if I fuck up my EVs at all, then that's it. I can't return them back to the way they were. Because I don't have the berries. Thinking about it, I probably should have gotten some berries spare just in case that happened. But regardless, that's the situation I'm in now. So, when I find it, I will have to be very careful about how I do it. But, that doesn't matter right now. We finally defeated Charlotte. So, from now on, much like I do with Final Fantasy VII, I am going to be referring to this Let's Play as Pokemon Reborn Blind. Because from here on out, everything I'm doing is blind to me. So, this is technically a blind playthrough now. So... Yeah, um, if you do enjoy this video, please leave a like rating to show your support. I'll leave a comment giving tips, uh, opinions, advice, and letting me know about any event Pokemon I've missed. And with that, uh, I'm going to get started. So, first thing on the agenda, I can't go past the barrier. So I'm probably going to have to go all the way back through Route 4 so I can get back to a uh, thing. What is it? I can't go down here still, it seems. So I'm probably going to have to go all the way across Route 4 so I can go back into Amatrine Mountain and use Dive. And I'm also going to have to teach Whiskash Dive when I need to. But for now, I actually need to get there. So let's go. Wait, what's that? Are these rooms actually? No, they're not. Okay, that was weird. I think they're just desks or something. For whatever reason, but I thought they looked like uh, rooms I could go into for a second there because they look like mats. Now, I think you need waterfall to go up here, but we can't get up there. There's also actually nowhere to uh, get on the water there, so I might be wrong. Right, I'm using a super repel. I think you can actually find wild Heracross around here if I'm not mistaken, but I'm not sure. I think I remember seeing them before, but don't hold me to that. I could be wrong. Uh, right, where's my super repels at? Oh, I could actually sell some of my items to get money right now. I didn't even think to do that, but it doesn't matter right now. Because I have plenty of money and there's nothing I need to buy. I have more than enough Ultra Potions right now and I can't get any revives. Though thinking about it, if I did sell them, then I could go back and get some of those uh, cotton candies at the circus. Because they were pretty expensive, but they're basically substitute revives that I can buy right now. So those would be pretty handy if I could get those. But I'll worry about that later. For now, I need to go back through here and return to the beginning of the route. Oh man, I'm, d I'm just so happy I beat Charlotte. I just can't express it enough. I've been waiting so long for that moment and it's finally arrived. I, You know, despite how annoying it was to fight her because I could never beat her, I've not once hated her for it. I, I, d I, j I was just... Uh, the whole time... That I've been unable to beat her. I've just been amazed at how powerful her team is. And because I love fire types as well. I'm just happy that there's a fire team that strong. That it could just stop me outright from playing the game. 
I, I, I was just happy about it, but I'm even happier now that I'm actually able to play the fucking game again. Seriously, I've, I've got to give props to Amethyst for this. Like, uh, she does a really good job of making these games difficult, or making this game difficult even. But in particular, Charlotte was really hard for me. So I, I've just got... I, I don't know how she got nerfed exactly. Maybe Typhlosion doesn't know Energy Ball anymore. I'm not exactly sure. Because it didn't use that in the fight against me. And I found that pretty odd. But regardless, I've got to give props to uh, uh, Amethyst. Because this game... I fucking love this game. I love it. It's got challenge. It's got it's got death. <laughs> it, it's, it's good plot. It, it, it's edgy, sure. But that it, I think it's edgy in a good way. So... You know, I just love this game. So, thank you for making this game. I know it's not done yet, but thank you for making this game. It's a beautiful piece of work. Now, I believe... Right, I'm going to save offland, actually, because, again, this might... I don't think it's going to glitch out, but there's the possibility, so... What I think... I think I need to go this way in order to progress. So, I'm going to try here first, since it's closest. If it's wrong, then fair enough, but if it's right, then at least we know. But if it is the right way, then I might go back through the rest of the mountain and find the other dive spots first. Before I actually enter Amatrine City, because I want to explore everywhere I possibly can. But we'll see. Right, let's dive then. Whizcash, use dive. Alright. Can I use the item finder down here, though? It doesn't seem... Oh, I, I can. Wait, what am I saying? I can use it down here. There also seems to be wild Pokemon down here. I don't know what can be found down here. But because I've already got all the Demon I want already. I don't feel like looking. Or finding out whatever. Right, I can go down here, can't I? Yeah. Right, I'm going to check this way first. Since it's closest. Alright, this seems to be the other side of the ice block. So we did go underneath it. Which means that where I've got to go is probably down here. Alright, I need to surf again, don't I? It's going to be annoying reteaching these moves all the time, but I really don't want to get rid of anything that Whizcash has already. I know I could just go back to the Agate Circus and use the move relearner, but if I did that, then I'd just have to delete a move again anyway. Until I get the Earthquake TM, this is just how it's going to have to be. I could have just gotten out another water Pokemon or something to do this. Really, I could have gotten out B-Barrel to surf and just taught Whizcash die for the time being, but... Honestly, I've, I forgot to do that, and I'm too far ahead now, so. Alright, yeah, let's just, um... It seems like the way into Amatrine City is actually, uh... In the middle of that ice block. Alright, let's use Dive. Again. I know this is gonna be tedious, guys, so my bad about this, but I have to do it. I know I don't use Amnesia or Rest on Whizcash too often, but they could really help me at some point, and sometimes they have saved me, so I do need to keep those around just in case. Because they're beneficial. Honestly, if I get rid of either one of those moves, then I may as well have just turned Whizcash into a physically defensive Pokemon. Oh, look, what did I say? It's an Avalog. It's a Pulse Avalog. Alright. So, if we're fighting an Avalog, that means it's physically defensive. And on top of that, it's an ice type. I could try leading with my neck trick and using flamethrower on it. But I've got a feeling that because it's on its own, it's going to be a super high level. So I'm going to lead with Houndoom and try that first. And if Houndoom goes out, then I'll use my neck trick. But let's take out the Avalog. Valog! The Pokemon seems to be crying out in pain. The machine seems to be running haywire. Yeah, let's attack it. You, you gotta feel bad, bad about attacking the other log like this. But it has to be done. Oh, it's only level 70. Okay. Oh, that's not so bad then. But it is a mega Avalog. Or a pulse Avalog, I suppose. Oh, the cold softened the attack. Yeah, I forgot the cold does that. Oh, that did nothing. That did nothing. Oh, shit. Alright. Um. Alright, let's use Sunny Day. Because at least it will boost it for my neck trick if I do this. Oh, shit. And those bulldoze. Oh, God. Alright, this thing's actually... It looked like it wasn't going to be much of a threat. But it seems I was wrong about that. This is actually going to be quite tough. Let's use Flamethrower, then. It seems odd to have Flamethrower and Rain Dance on the same Pokemon, really, doesn't it? <laughs> wow. 
even with flamethrower, that did nothing. Oh my god. You know, thinking about it, maybe I should have led with Wiz Cash. I know it... Actually, no, I'm not sure that's a good idea. Because uh, if this thing outspeeds my Wiz Cash, then Wiz Cash will just die to a single freeze dry. But then what I'm thinking is, if I use Earthquake, then I can get rid of the field. And then I won't have to worry about freeze dry being stronger or my fire moves being weaker. But if this Avalog outspeeds my Wiz Cash, then it doesn't matter. Oh, wow, I outsped it. Okay. Alright, well, it'll... It didn't actually take out my Wiz Cash in one hit. I'm amazed. All right, let's uh, let's use Dive. <laughs> the Sun might be gone, and I can just use yeah, it faded. So now my Dive will do more damage. Oh, that still did fuck all though. <laughs> oh well. Um, at least I survived another turn. Now what next? Right, it's gonna do damage to the Sceptile. I think the best thing I can do is send out Espeon. Espeon will probably do the most damage right now because uh, Strong Psychic will hurt it. I'm wondering, this thing should be uh, physically defensive. But it's it's taking special defensive hits like a champ. So I'm not sure if that's just its pulse form doing that. Or if this thing has like an assault vest as well or something. I honestly have no idea why this is taking so many hits. But either way, Brick Break. Hopefully this will take it out. No. Bulldoze. That isn't going to do anything though, so that's fine. Seems like this thing's just using random moves, honestly. Let's Brick Break it. There we go. Avalog is down. Got it. 4,000 experience. We, we took out Avalog. Look! Oh, there's Shelly. Huh? Pharaoh, the ice wall just disappeared. Was that because of you? What happened? So, this is one of Meteor's pulse machines then. And an Avalog blocked off the mountain. Um, maybe I'm just being stupid, but doesn't that seem kind of strange? That is, the team Meteor wants to block off the mountain. Wouldn't they put the machine, um, literally anywhere else? There's dozens of choke points in the past that could, they could have easily blocked. So why put it in the most open space? Was that really what they were trying to accomplish? Uh, anyway, it doesn't make sense, but maybe that's just me. Um, I need to find find Heather, so I'm going to go ahead, okay? That does seem weird, actually. Maybe, maybe they're. Oh, I'm still thinking Blake did this because he's the Ice type user. But uh, now that Shelley's mentioned that, it does make it seem like there was more to this. So maybe, maybe Blake is just like Cal. Obviously, Cal hates Blake, but if Blake is behind this, maybe he wanted us to help that Avalog. Maybe he wanted to uh, stop Team Meteor as well. I don't know. Anyway, where do I go? Okay, this is where I just came from. So that means if I go down here, I can use Dive around this area to I can check out the rest of the mountain. So that's what I'm going to do. Oh yeah, I need to teach Wiz Wiz Cash Surf again, don't I? Fuck. Um... Let's do that then. You know, I even went past the PC on Route 3, and yet I'm still using WizCash. You know, maybe... You know, I think here actually takes me to the circus, doesn't it? Or to Route 2, so I can get there. Yeah. I think what I'm going to do... I'll cut back to this spot in a minute. But I think what I'm going to do is get out the barrel so that I can teach Surf or Dive to that thing. And I'll put uh, someone else away for the time being so I can use B-Barrel to explore the mountain. And while I'm there, I'll get some cotton candies as well. So I'll be back in a minute. Alright, so I decided to come back and check on the guys in the circus quickly. I don't know if they're saying anything new. Because I can't remember what they said before. But it seems like they are. Ah, I should mention, even if you do get Waterfall, you'll need Terra's badge in order to use it. Though I'm not quite sure where that train wreck has pranced off to now. Okay. There's a computer in here as well, so it works out anyway. Jeez, where did Terra disappear to this time? Don't get me wrong, I don't mind her being gone, but... She seems to vanish for long periods of time occasionally, and a girl like that is hard to miss. So where the hell is she? Huh. That's a good question, actually. Right, so, uh, there's nothing new in here. Don't know why I checked there. Right, where's be borrowed then? Be borrowed, you're here. Yep. I also forgot to put these two back in the daycare, which is an unfortunate mistake I made, but... 
Right, 55, 53, 53, I need you anyway, 54, 50, 62. And you are 65 as well, right, Umbreon? Yeah, okay, so for now, I'm going to put you in the PC. Because you are tied for top level. Houndoom is a dark type as well. And um, I need Wizcash for right now. So I'm putting you away. And I'm going to put Bidoof at the back of the party. Because that's the last thing I want fighting anything. Now, hopefully, I think Bidoof can learn Dive. Or be borrow. If it can learn dive, I'm gonna teach it that because I'd rather just keep a uh, surf on Wiz Cash. Okay, good. Alright, so I'm gonna teach you dive then. And I suppose um just in case I decide I wanna put Wiz Cash away at some point, I'll teach you surf as well because I do not actually need to have cut on you right now. Because I've not used that in forever and I doubt I'm actually going to need it anymore since it's been so long since it was actually put into play. So, let's carry on then. I will meet you guys back in Amatree Mountain. Alright, here we are. We're back. So we're now just going to carry on and explore a little bit to try and find more of those dive spots that I didn't manage to get before. We still don't have Waterfall, which sucks, so we can't fully explore this area. But then, you know, we'd be able to get back to Reborn City if we had it. So I can see I can see us not getting that for a while, and I can see why we haven't got it yet. Alright, so we're in Celeste 9 Mountain. It seems Amatree Mountain's dive spots were purely to help out the other log. Alright, well, let's dive here first, because this... Uh, this is the first thing we found, and it seems like this is the, a pretty big dive spot, actually. I don't think we're actually going to find anything with the item finder down here. I'm also going to save, just in case there's anything here. Can I go on here? Oh, I can. Okay. I'm going to go around first, because something big might be in there. I also can't really hear the music. I'm trying to keep it quiet. So, uh, you know, it, it doesn't echo for the Let's Play. But since this is all new to me, I really want to listen to the music that's around this er these areas as well. So what I'm thinking is I might re-explore them later on when I'm not recording. Just to see what sort of music plays. So I can have, like, my own little experience with them. Where I'm, you know, I'm just playing to myself, not recording it. I wasn't half a mind to just play all this stuff. And then go back to an old save and record it after but then it wouldn't be a blind let's play and half the reason i recorded this is because i wanted to make it um because i like doing blind let's plays and half the reason i recorded this is because i wanted to show all of the new stuff i experienced blind honestly if i could replay the whole game or if i could have replayed the whole game not remembering a single thing about it just gone 100 percent blind then i um, you know, I would have done that, but alas, I cannot do that. That's impossible. So, you know, I've just had to make do, but this is all blind to me now. Although, oddly enough, it doesn't actually feel it. Okay, so it seems diving here was pointless because I don't have waterfall, so I've got to go all the way back around. I'll just cut this out. It actually gave me a chance to listen to the dive music, and holy shit, that was nice. That was nice music right there. It's also the dive theme from Hoenn, which I should have expected it to be, really. That was actually some really nice music. God damn it. <laughs> oh, well, oh, I make that sound like a bad thing, but it's not. I actually really like it. Can I actually go back this way? It doesn't seem like I can right now. It won't let me go to the stairs. Um, I need to find a way to get up there. I think I go this way. No. How do I get up there? It seems like I have to slam into that rock there, but how do I do it? Huh? I'm not sure I can go back this way now. Can I not? Oh, surely I've got to be able to, right? Surely I've got to be able to get back somehow. Surely. Surely. Now that would just be strange if I couldn't. 
Okay, no, I think I see how to get back. Okay. So, wait, no. Um. Hmm. No, right, no, I think I got it. Right here, 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 here. Yeah. Okay, I can't get back. Cool. I got worried for a second there. Now I believe I can continue diving through this area. Okay, what am I finding? Pilo swine. Uh, I used repels, so I don't know why I'm encountering this. Maybe I accidentally didn't use them by mistake. Let's do it again. Alright, let's go. We're still not done here yet. So which way do I go first? I think this led to a waterfall, didn't it? Yeah, that's a waterfall. Is there any dive spots around here? We just came from there. So down here is the next place. There's another waterfall. So not there. <clears throat> and I think here led to where uh, Amaria and Titania fell, right? Yeah, yeah. So that means I want to go this way over to the left here up these stairs because they connect to the same place anyway. And on top of that, there was a dive spot here. So I think this is actually the last dive, dive spot I can check out. So I'm going to do that. Um, no, I went the wrong way, didn't I? Wait, which way do I go then? Oh, oh no, right there, there. And now I go down here, right? Oh, now I go up here. Yeah, got it, got it, got it. We did it, we did it, we did it, we did it. Let's go down here now. I believe this is the last dive spot, but I still need to check the rest of the mountain just to be sure. Oh, there's actually an item down here. Resist wing, that's a weird thing to find underwater. I need to keep using the item finder now, just in case. Right, well... Oh, there's another thing. Red shard, okay. Well, seeing as uh, we've not found any, like, event Pokemon because of this yet, and this is the last dive spot I've checked, I think that the, I'm going to save just in case there's something here. Because surfing's actually pretty slow. So what are we going to find? Item finders responding. Wait, why'd I do that? Here. Pokesnacks. Okay. Oh, there's a TM here. Oh, what is it? Frustration. That's not very helpful. If it was return, that that could have been good on Umbreon instead of bite, maybe. Because that I think I think when your friendship's at max with a Pokemon, the base power of return is 120, and uh, I think stab raises the base power of a move by 1.5, if I'm not mistaken. So that would mean that bite's only at 90 base power. Whereas return would be at 120 for Umbreon. So return would actually be a stronger move for him right now. So if it was that, then I definitely would have got it. But because it's not, uh, I I can't teach it, obviously. But frustration is going to be terrible because all my Pokemon love me. So I do not want that. It seems very bizarre to give frustration this late in the game. Considering how useless it is. Then again, if you pick up a new Pokemon here then frustration is a good move to give them. Because, uh, you know, you find quite a few Pokemon at high level late in the game around here. Come to think of it, I think you need Waterfall to get it. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Um, I Originally, I actually thought I might get a different Pokemon to Whizcash just because it would be more useful. And that Pokemon was actually Milotic. Now, I'm pretty sure it's Amatree Mountain you can find it in. But, um, as far as I remember, uh, what was it? You needed a good rod to get it. You needed a good rod to find Feebas in Amatree Mountain, and I'm pretty sure there's a specific room that you find Feebas in in that mountain, but I think you need Waterfall to get up there. I'm not 100% sure if I'm right on that, but if I am right, then that means that I should be able to get Waterfall at some point before I finish the game. Because the game still isn't fully complete yet. But I think I can get Waterfall in the current build I've got. And if that's the case, that means I can eventually go back to Reborn City. So, I also just noticed I can use Rock Climb down there. So, I'm going to need to make a note of that. Um, rock 
climb Citrine Mountain. Okay. Well, I think I'm pretty much done exploring here, so I will be back um, when... What is it? Yeah, I'm going to go back to where I was, where the Avalog was, and I will be back when I get there, so give me a moment. Alright, so we're back. Um, while I was away, uh, my dad decided to start doing some drilling or something in my sister's room downstairs. I don't know how long that's going to go on for, but it's still going, so, um, you know, I don't know if you guys can hear it. Hopefully not. If you can, it should be quiet, but nonetheless, if you can hear it, I apologize for that. But anyway, with that all being said, I'm going to carry on. So we're on the third floor of Amatry Mountain now. There's an item here. Where is it? It's up there. Here? Nope, it's down there. Okay. So, there's a ledge there, which means I have to go this way. Um, right. I guess I have to find a way over there somehow. I guess I've got to go round and go down the ice if I want to surf on that water. Blue shot. Oh, there's another murky waterfall there. That's always nice to see. Right, I think I go this way. No, that, that was wrong, I guess. So now what? Um. Hmm. I need to find a way to get up. Ah, okay. Yeah, got it, got it, got it. This is good, this is good. I am a genius. Yes. Okay, now. I'm sure you heard that banging. And that banging. <sighs> Why'd they have to do that now? How far can I actually go? Oh, there's rock climb there too, huh? Right, clearly, I'm doing something wrong here. Hmm. Right, this should do something though. Yes, now where do I go? No. Alright, so I landed there, but what did that do for me? Oh, right, I get it, I get it, I get it, okay, okay. I needed to go down, that was the right way to go. Why are they doing this now? I'm sorry if you can hear that, I'll probably cut out if it keeps going. Alright, here we are. We can go this way now. Oh, we're in Amatrine City. Huh, okay, I didn't think we'd be there that quickly. Well, I suppose it did take a little while to get here, but... Huh, we're actually here. That's cool. No pun intended, because it's ice or anything. There are so many, uh... Rock climb places around here. And Reborn Jesus. And considering we don't bloody have rock climb yet, there's quite a lot of places for it. Right here. Here in all these Gen 6 remixes as well. That's cute. Well, cute's the wrong word, but I'm not, I like it. I like it. Right, do I go up here to get to Amatrine? Am I going the right way? Because if I'm going the right way, I want to go the wrong way. Because again, it's all, you always want to go the wrong way first. Nope, seems like I went the wrong way. Cool. But if it led me over here, I feel like something should be here later on. Because that, that just led me to a dead end. And it doesn't look like it should be a dead end. But either way, it seems like this is the way I'm meant to go. Ah, here we are. We're actually in the city now. So is it here? Purple shard. Cool. So can we go in here? What is this? Welcome to Amatrine City. Okay. Is this place dead? Or is there actually things here? It doesn't seem like we can go in any of these houses either. Which is odd. Oh, I'm on it. Okay. Potion. Once again. Fucking useless. Oh, there's Shelly. Hello. Where is it? Oh, I'm on it. Okay. 
whoops, zinc. That's also not very helpful to me. <coughs> Excuse me. Brr. I don't know how anyone can stand this cold, but if Heather is here somewhere, I'll definitely find her. Let's split up and ask around. I bet someone is bound to know something. After we talk to everyone, let's meet up somewhere. Hmm, maybe there's a suspicious place around here? I'm going to look for something like that once I'm done. Good luck, we'll definitely find her. Huh? What, you're telling me that you want to meet up in a suspicious place? That in itself is suspicious, what the fuck? Alright, I think I recognize this house actually. Let's, let's watch TV. What do you say? We've got breaking news coming in from Reborn City. We've received an anonymous tip suggesting to us that the dastardly Team Meteor, known for breaking the very region apart, has yet another base inside Reborn City, under everyone's noses. Although this is not a terrible surprise, considering at least three of their previous holdouts within the city limits have already been routed, city officials are disturbed at the prospect of there still being another one, having believed Meteor to be purged from the city. The battle between Reborn and Team Meteor rages on. Where could this secret base be? Citizens of Reborn, keep an eye out for any suspicious or hidden places you find that might be exploitable by Team Meteor. Hmm. There are several places I'm thinking of here. The first is somewhere in the Bixbysian Wasteland. Now, I don't know where they'd be hiding there, because I think we'd explored all of that, but that does seem like a place they could hide. Um, the second place, I'm thinking, is in uh, the, the nightclub, because only the elite can get in there, so not many people are actually able to get in. But since Lin is as powerful as she is, she could probably subjugate that place fairly simply. I don't know for sure, but only powerful trainers are allowed in that place. So, you know, maybe maybe she somehow got in and made a base for Meteor there, I don't know, but it's entirely possible. Um, there's also 7th Street. While I don't believe it is... 7th Street is full of thugs and stuff, so they could be hiding somewhere down there. There's also the orphanage. Dr. Connell is working with Team Meteor now, so Team Meteor could very well be working in the orphanage with him. But I highlight out that one as well. But where else could they be? I don't think they'd be in the Grand Hall. That does seem like a fairly obvious place, but I don't think they'd be there. Because, you know, obviously there's uh, officials there. Uh, some of the factories you went in, they could be at, but that doesn't seem likely. They could be underneath Reborn City, but they still need the keys to get down there, so I don't think that's very accurate. Uh, Shades Power Plant, again, I don't think that one's likely, but no one goes there, so they could be using it. The only places that I've not really been to in Reborn City yet are up the rock climb place in Beryl Cave and the Tourmaline Desert. Those are the only two places in Reborn City I've not been to. I think if they're anywhere, they're probably in the Tourmaline Desert. Because I don't see why they'd be in uh, Beryl Cave. That just seems odd. <coughs> um... Yeah, I think they're in the Tourmaline Desert. I don't know, but that's my that's my guess. It's a commercial. We don't care about this. Fuck off. Alright. Gossip God of Oz interview into mission. Today we have a special report with Jim Lee de Florinia of the Onyx Ward. Many trainers are well acquainted with Florinia as the headmistress of the Onyx Trainers School. Tell us, Florinia, how exactly did you manage to secure a position so proceed? Prestigious, that's meant to say, at your age. Principality of the school was requested following the acceptance of the gym leader position. The conversion of city public property was acknowledged as necessary to be forfeit for the foundation of the Reborn League. Thus, what was once solely a school became solely a gym. Upon gaining control of the facility and proper permissions following, the insti- the insti- I think that's meant to say institution. The institution was hybridized. I see. So in other words, it was your idea to combine them. You must have a real passion for education to be willing to take that on yourself. Passion is an irrelevant factor. 
The operation is necessary and I am able to function adequately. Oh? Does that mean you don't enjoy the work? Enjoyment is a triviality. Only function matters. How boring. Surely there must be something you enjoy doing, Florinia. Personal emotion is too confounding of a condition to reach that assumption safely. A misinterpretation of human emotion can lead to severe risk. This writer has already lost too much of its hand. Thus as, logi thus as logically directed, the risk is avoided. Oh my, this is juicy. So you were hurt by someone in the past and that's why you ignore your emotions. Is that what I'm understanding? You shouldn't really be asking questions like that, but... You know, I wouldn't say you're wrong. A sufficient abstract, yes. Lovely. Do tell. What happened? The conclusion will not be forthcoming. The previous analysis is sufficient. Goodbye. What? I say when the interview ends, not you. Darn it, this was finally getting good. Okay. But who hurt her? <laughs> who actually hurt her? That's what I want to know. A visitor? Does that mean the mountain path has been unblocked? Yes, it has. You're welcome for that. Huh? Where's the item then? There it is. Alright, let's go in this house then. <clears throat> no one's in here either. No one's home apparently. Anywhere. Howdy, stranger. You don't look like you're dressed for this climate. Conserve heat and stay indoors. And remember, try not to move around too much if you haven't got your rations. Ah, you see. Very recently, most of our food stock disappeared. We know that Amatree Mountain had been blocked off, but that's okay, because we always used to store plenty to live on in emergencies. But just when that happened, our emergency supply completely disappeared. We're not really sure how. Ever since then, the city has been living on the rations of the public food store. It's been very difficult, but we will get through this. Okay. Well, uh, you can go get food now, so feel free to go do that. Alright, where is this item? There it is, Big Pearl. Is there anything down here? Oh, there's a lot more down here. Shit, I'm gonna carry on going left for them. I think I can go in here too. Locked. Okay, I guess I can't. Can I go in here though? Locked. Okay, I guess not. I can go in here though. Where's the item? It's up there. Okay, I'll check in a minute. What is this? Okay, this place looks suspicious. Data input required. Well, I need to come back here, it seems. <coughs> but for what purpose? And why did I use another repel? Okay, where's the item there? Ether. Can I go in here, though? Nope. <coughs> oh, my. Excuse me. I'm very sorry. I dropped my necklace around here and I'm trying to find it. I don't want it to get buried underfoot, so I don't want anyone to pass through right now. Really sorry. I'll get out your way as soon as I can. So, in other words, she's a roadblock that doesn't need to be there, but is anyway. Got it? Alright. What is this? Welcome. Please be respectful to all of our guests by vi only visiting the open floors. Currently, the only open floor is the second. Alright, let's go up here then. Let's see what floor two has to offer. Oh, wow, that's an awesome main neck trick you have. But you know what's awesomer? Pidov. Yeah, Pidov. Its final stage is so cool. One pheasant isn't that cool, man. I totally want one, but there's totally none up here. Hey, if you bring me a Pidov, I'll give you my treasure. Ah, uh, did I not? No, I haven't caught a Pidov. Damn. And it's all the way back in Reborn City, so I can't give her that or him that now. Amateurine City has some of the best technology around. We don't have much room for other industry up here, but the cold is actually ideal for maintaining computer systems. And that means I can always get max frames per second, even on the highest settings. Score! I don't think that's how it works, but if it is, then what the fuck? Okay, there's a game console there. Looks like an N64, but it might be a SNES. These kids may be a handful, but if nothing else, I'm glad their spirits have stayed high through this whole ordeal. He doesn't listen when we tell him that Staraptor evolves from an entirely different Pokemon, but what are you going to do? Oh, no! So this kid wants a Staraptor, but he thinks it evolves from Pidov? Oh, boy. Man, I am sorry for him. I'm going to get him a Pidov anyway, when I can, but, uh... No, I should, I should write a note at that, actually. Let me do that. Uh, so I need to write... I know Mime Jr. is an event Pokemon that was very near the beginning of the game, but I don't know where that is, because I didn't happen to come across it, but, uh, more importantly, Pidov, Amatrine. Okay, there we go. Alright, let's, let's carry on then. I need to go 
Okay, where the fuck's my cursor? There it is. Alright, now I need to go down. Because there was more to this city downwards. And I can't go to the left because there is a woman there. Blocking the way. Like a little bitch. Also, this place is full of snow. So I'd imagine that if Blake was anywhere, he'd be here. The previous crisis has really taught everyone not to take daily life for granted. That's why everyone is out having so much fun. I kind of wish I could join them, but <laughs> I'm too old now. I'd look silly out there. Oh, um, about the previous crisis? I mean, it's not over yet. We're still on lo we're still low on food, but everyone has hope because as it turns out, this city has a guardian angel. Who's that? Well, I can't tell you. Sounds like Blake, but it might be Cal. Ah, uh ah. -uh. I have to hold on to the edge or I'll fall. I know I will. Eep. Well, that sucks. What's the matter? Come and catch me. Yeah. <coughs> I'm so glad we can get back to playing. Everyone's happy again here. It was really sad when all the food disappeared because no one had any energy. But recently, someone has been sneaking around and secretly distributing food to all the kids. It's really cool. Who's that? Well, it's a secret. You know, I'm saying Blake, but it could be Heather, actually. Because Heather did come with Blake. But then she was pretty much mind broken, so I'm not sure that it is. Hmm. It's good to see everyone in high spirits again. You know, if Heather wanted to stay with Blake, then maybe there was a good reason for that. Maybe it is Blake. I can't remember how long it was that the streets of this city were empty, or full of vacant faces looking more like zombies than humans. Hunger can do that to a man. But when people in the streets started getting fed by a mysterious person, we started to gain hope back, and here we are. Um, but that's all I will say about that person, they must remain mysterious. It feels like nobody's telling me anything about this person just for the sake of the giving it mystery, but I don't care. <coughs> I never get bored of ice skating. My mom says if I get good enough, she'll let me skate inside the mountain too. I love this mountain. Even if we're trapped on it, it's so cool. The peak used to be used to hold gym battles. The old gym leader retired. I don't know why. I guess he got busy with other things, but he still lives here. Oh yeah, Blake's an ice leader, isn't he? But Sarah's the ice leader now. I didn't really think about that, but I guess Blake isn't the leader anymore. So Blake and Cal both retired, huh? Interesting. His name is Blake Whitaker. Yep, Blake definitely lives here then. If you see him around, would you get his autograph for me? I'd ask him for it myself, but I'm kind of scared of him. Oops. Alright. Well, I have a feeling that's not going to be the greatest idea that I've ever had, but I will try and do that if that's the thing I can do. Ice beam, please. Thief. Are you fucking serious? Oh well. I guess Thief can be decent in some situations. Like, if Magnemite can hold Metal Coat in the wild, then that would be good. I didn't even consider that. Huh, maybe you can get a Metal Coat earlier on in the game if you catch a Magnemite or something with it. If they even hold it. Because I know they do in like Sun and Moon and stuff in the main games, but I'm not sure if they do in Reborn. Oh, there's the Pokemon Center. I was wondering where that was. Oh, I tell a lie. I wasn't actually. I, uh, what I meant to say was, I didn't even think about that. Not I was wondering where that was. That's the completely wrong thing to say. I was wondering where it was. Why did I say that? <laughs> no, I actually forgot to look for that when I really should have been. But, God, so what am I supposed to do in this mess? Pardon, may I help you? I'm the system administrator here, although I'm not having a very good time of it as of late. Somehow a virus has uploaded into our system and is completely trashing the network, but no matter what I do, I'm not strong enough to get rid of it. Uh, that might sound strange. It's a very unique new type of virus. If you want to see what I mean, feel free to log in and try it, but make sure you're ready. Okay, so I have to uh, save. Okay, so how do I access it? System start, initializing OS, error, error, error. Oh, wait, I think these are missing, no, actually. Yeah, it's missing, no. Okay, why did it send out a Parasect? <laughs> okay, well, whatever. This is the same field we fought Porygon on, so this isn't too unfamiliar. Oh, well. Uh, Dog Trio. Okay, we, have, we actually haven't seen that yet, have we? Go, Sceptile, you can handle this thing. I'm sure. 69. Alright, we took it out. He said they're tough, but I one-shot both of the things that he just sent out. More banging, that's lovely. Woo, 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 woo. Oh, it seems there's more to this. Okay. Weeping Bell. Alright, this might actually take a flamethrower. Parasect was quad weak, so it makes sense that that died. Yeah. 
Oh man, that did damage. Oh, it switched into Gold Dog. Alright, this banging's getting a bit much. Might actually have to wait if it carries on much longer. Oh wow, that didn't take it out. Okay. Well, my neck trick just went down now. Wait, what did it lead with? Flamethrower was good. Uh, weeping Bell. Okay, yeah, I can just send out Sceptile then. I know Poison resists uh, Bug, but I think an X Scissor can take it out from where it is. So it should be fine. 64. Weeping Bell. Oh, wait, I can switch, can't I? I mean, I'm not gonna, but I could. Alright, let's try and take it out of the next scissor then. I also love... Oh, wait. What? Why was that super effective? Did... Is it not poison type? No. No, Weeping Bell's definitely poison type. Maybe it's just not... Hmm. I'm not sure if they've not programmed Weeping Bell to be poison type. Or if the fact they used a bug move on a, a field that is buggy is part of it. Like, I know that... I'm not trying to be punny or anything when I say that, but I just thought about it. Like, this this entire field is bugged out, and I just used a bug move, so that might have something to do with it. But I don't know. Alright, yeah, there's another one. This should be the last of it, but I don't know. Oh, hello, there's another one. Tangler. Okay, Whizcash is not what I want to be using against this thing. So let's switch into Sceptile and take it out with uh, an X Scissor or two. Comes to think of it, why isn't it a Tangrowth yet? We fought Tangrowth near the very beginning of the game. I, I also love how it's only using Gen 1 Pokemon because it's a missing. No, I, pr I like that. It's pretty funny, actually. Okay, Pidgeot. Why is missing no actually switching out? That's so weird. And my neck trick is down, so that's not very good for me. That would have been great for this thing. I also forgot to uh, get uh, Umbreon back out. And put Bibaral away, so that's not very good either. OP, please, no. Okay, I'm guessing that means that it's stronger on this field. Not really sure how that works, but fuck it. OP, please, no. Alright, we took out the Pidgeot. What's next? Jolteon. Ooh. It has more than two Pokemon this time. Let's go into Whizcash. Alright, that's one earthquake should take you out. Alright, you got the paralysis, that sucks. But it's fine, we took you out. Now all you have is Tangler. Sceptile can take you out with the next scissor. Tangler. Let's go. I will destroy Thal. Oh, wait, no, it lifted the next scissor, didn't it? Yeah, I totally forgot it did that. <coughs> well. It's fine, because you didn't take me out, so I can take you out now. This experience share is actually leveling me up quite quickly. Game.exe has stopped working. I guess we're done. Oh, huh, you did it. Most impressive. This is a great relief. Please, allow me to offer my thanks. This is a sticker for Reborn City's department store. They're coveted, with two Ts, but of course largely useless up here. Wait a minute. Oh! I just realized I had this written down to do, but I didn't even notice that. Oh, wow. So this was for a sticker. I think this is actually the last sticker I can get in this current build as well. I mean, they may have a new sticker or two you can get in episode 16, but up to episode 15, I think this was actually the last one you could get. So, yeah, I've got 10 stickers, and I think these are all the ones I can currently get right now. So that's great. So please take it. Excellent. Oh, that's nice. Thanks, man. Now that that's sorted, I can get back to solo queue. Um, I mean, processing my solo queue a very important dis- Uh, admit- Whatever the fuck he said. I don't even know what solo queue is. I probably should know, but I don't know. Who oh boy. We may have a little food, but a little food is almost like no food to someone of my size. Well, at least he's uh, honest to himself. Oi, we're super lucky that girl is looking out for us, but just where did she get all that food anyway? That girl. Okay, I'm pretty sure they're on about Heather now. That girl. So someone r randomly came out of nowhere and has been helping these people out, and it's a girl. It's gotta be Heather. I mean, who else would it be? Who else would it be? There are several options. 
But I think it's Heather. Honestly. I, I don't see who else it could be. Because Shelly only just got here. So it can't be her. Amaria tried to kill herself. Titania was... Um, Titania followed Amaria. And Victoria's got to look after the Apophil Academy. Unless Aya managed to get away. But I don't see how she would. I mean, it could be Zell as well, but I don't think... I'm not sure if Zell's even female. And it wouldn't make sense for Zell to be doing it, because they're part of Team Meteor. Who else would it be? I'm trying to think of all the girls there are. Julia, don't see why she would. Florinia, she's got the school to manage. Let's look at the badges and see if I can figure it out. It could be Laura. I w not Julia, not Florinia, not Shelly. Definitely not Shade. Probably not Aya. Uh, not Sarah. Uh, what what's that one? That's Noel's badge, I think. Not Noel, because he's not even female. It won't be Radimus either. Wait, I don't think it'd be God of War or Luna either, but I don't know where Luna's gone, so it might be her, but I doubt it. Um, uh, not CL, because she's still at the uh, Agate thing. And Charlotte's still in Calcinon City with Sephira, so it's not them. So who does that leave? It leaves... Um, well, it's Zell, as I said. It leaves Terra. Um, I don't think it's Terra. It leaves Heather. And it leaves Laura. I think Heather is the one doing it because Blake lives here. But it could be Laura as well. Because Laura randomly vanished back in Calcinon City, and now we're hearing that some girl is helping out. So, Laura's possible. I think it's Heather, because she's with Blake, but see, it's weird to think Heather would be doing it, because she just, she wasn't talking to anyone, and she's a little kid as well. But Laura went missing. So, I think it's Laura. Well, I, I, I think it could be either Heather or Laura, I'm not sure. Laura seems more likely, but... Oh, I just don't know who seems more likely. Laura seems more likely because she's an adult, but Heather seems more likely because we knew that she was around here. Hey, hey, do you know about this house? They say it's haunted. A big accident happened three years ago and the girls who were living there died. It's super creepy, but super cool. I don't think it's super cool to say girls are dead, man. Just being able to stand here right now is a wonderful thing, and it's all thanks to that girl. Oh my, I shouldn't have said that. Please do not tell anyone I did. Word has it that if the, uh, the guardian angel's identity gets out, she won't be able to help us anymore. I promised my son I wouldn't tell anyone, so please. Uh, there, It could be Lynn as well, but I really don't see how it would end up being Lynn. <laughs> Just because she's fucking brutal. I mean, she almost killed Sephira. Like, bruh. Um... Well, let's go in this house, then. Oh, there are... Oh, there's a pulse machine in here. Oh, shit. This is definitely a suspicious place. You were checking this place out, too, huh? Um, is it just me, or does this place feel kind of weird? I get the feeling that something really bad happened here. Yeah, apparently three girls died in here, Shelley. Uh, actually, it's something one of the kids from here told me. He said that two girls died here. Is that true? Well, I heard it was three. Pharaoh? What is that? That machine is like the one in the mountain, right? But maybe in that case, maybe it really is a good idea to look around here. This house is scary, but I don't mind if you're with me, Vero. Oh, I don't start crushing on me now. So, so, um, where do we start? Um, hey, isn't this... Here, it's, um, it's from the circus. It says it's for Reborn League Challengers. That's you, so... Oh, so there just happens to be a battle pass right there. Gr gravity uh, makes it sound like it's a ground type thing. So I'm assuming that means Terra's next. It must have been mailed here after this house was abandoned. Uh, anyway, um, books. Let's start at the books. Books are always safe, even when they're scary. Um, it looks like this is a diary? Well, since the house is abandoned, it's probably okay to read. Plus, it's not like reading diaries ever really got anyone in trouble, right? Oh, you have no idea. You have no idea. Oh, look, I looked away when she said that. <laughs> okay, here goes. Um, 
It looks like this diary belongs to someone named Lumina Sejaya. Well, I'm making a comparison to Luna right now, but I don't think it's her. Um, dear diary, now Mama has gotten very sick too. We moved to Amatrine to get away from the polluted city, but the doctor says it may already be too late. I don't want her to leave me like Papa did. Please, please, please don't let her go. Uh, um, next entry. Dear diary, Mama is with Papa now after all. Evelyn and I and all are all alone now. Wait. Evelyn and Lumina. Even Lumi. Oh no. No way. No way. So, don't tell me. Zell had two siblings. But they died. So, she got a person. Or he. Yeah, I think it's she. Yeah, that explains it. They said three girls used to live here, but two died. Oh no, that's got to be Zell then. Zell's, Zell's sisters must have died. And because of that, she developed a personality disorder. And now she she uh, has the personalities of uh, Evelyn and uh, Z. Because I'm pretty sure that Lumi is the one that's still alive. Because they said it was the uh, the diary of Lumina. So yeah, that, that must mean that Lumi is the one that's actually alive. And the other two are just... Uh, personalities of her sisters oh no i gotta keep reading to find out for sure this is all just speculation she's doing her best to take care of us and the city is helping as much as they can but it's still really tough i don't want to be alone dear diary i have bad news evelyn called the doctor and he says that i've developed the same disease that mama had we knew it ran in the family but nobody thought it would happen so soon diary I'm really scared. Oh, maybe Lumi was the one that died. Maybe it's Zero that survived then. The doctor says I still have a, at least a few years, but I don't want to die that young. I don't want to go. I'm not ready to face Mama and Papa yet. Dear Diary, I feel so guilty. Evelyn has been worried sick about me. She's been staying up all night, always reading and researching to see if there's anything that could be a cure. I'm really glad that she cares about me so much. But I don't want her to push herself too far. What if she gets sick too? Maybe it would be better if I died sooner. I would be less of a burden on Eve that way. Dear Diary, Evelyn has been working herself to the bone. She's building some kind of machine that she says will enhance the healing powers of Pokemon. Wait, and there's a pulse in here? Hmm. So does that mean Zell is the one behind the pulse technology, but Team Meteor... Uh, is using it for bad purposes. Is that it? She says that if she can amplify her Pokemon's healing potential, maybe it could cure my disease too. Oh, so that means that the Pulse was originally designed to boost the power of a healing Pokemon. Yeah, but they turned it into a weapon instead. Yeah, this has got to be Zell then. It only makes sense at this point, and Zell Zell's sister must be the one that's behind the Pulse technology. Huh. Eve has always been really smart, but if something like that is possible, I would be so happy. If anyone can do it, she can. I'm so afraid to hope, but I can't help it. Maybe I'll have a chance, blah blah blah, be writing to you for a very long time, diary. Dear diary, I'm scared. Today, a man dressed in black showed up at our house. He said that he had heard of the machine my sister was making, and he wanted to use it for his organization. That's Team Meteor. And this sounds like it could be serious. Evelyn was going to refuse, but I'm so stupid. I got in the way and he used me as a hostage against her. Now poor Evelyn has to do whatever he says, otherwise he says he'll kill me. Then how are you writing in the diary? Why is it that every time I hope things can be okay, they go horribly wrong? Um, the handwriting changes here. It looks really unsteady. Um, let's see. Dear diary, I'm sorry. This is going to be my last entry. It's really, really bizarre, but there was an accident with Eve's machine. She was applying the finishing touches for a test run, and something went wrong. Because of the machine's energy, the magneton she was testing it on accidentally evolved during the test. And then because of the evolution, the machine went haywire. Oh, did you know, Diary, 
that when Mac Newton evolves, it's three parts fuse into one. And that uh, she's got three personalities in one. I don't know how it happened, but the machine transferred that energy into everyone who was nearby. And when Magneton emerged a Magnezone, I was looking at my own body, like it was a mirror or something. And I could hear Eve's voice, and that man's voice, and they wouldn't stop. They still don't stop. It seems the machine's energy accidentally fused the three of our consciousnesses into one body. I don't know what's going to happen to Evelyn and I, our bodies that is. They might die without us, but it seems that we're going to have to leave. I hate this. I hate this so much, but it's stupid. I got what I wanted. I won't die, and I'll never be alone. Never. Uh, well, that's an interesting story. Okay, so someone said three girls died in here. But someone else said two girls died. Maybe I misunderstood what that boy said about the three people dying. But what it sounds like... The pulse machine was originally going to be used to heal this Lumina person. But there was an accident on a magneton that fused free, that uh, made it evolve. And somehow, that also made Lumina fuse with Evelyn and this other guy. Which is who Zero is, presumably. I don't know if Zero is actually his name or if that's short for something else. But Zero, Eve, and Lumi are all one person now. It's not just a personality disorder. They're literally three people that were fused because of the pulse machine. So Zell is three people. So I guess it makes sense that I was giving them all different voices, really. I didn't even know they were three people. I just thought it was a personality disorder thing. But, no, they're actually three different people. Huh. I heard we'd learn more about Zell, but I never expected it to be something like this. This is this is actually quite an interesting development. Oh, my. <laughs> it doesn't really help us th find Heather, though. Hello. Eep, hi. Are you weren't reading any diary? Oh, you can't just say that. Uh-huh. This isn't a place for visitors to be. What are you doing here? No, nothing. I'm a mean. We were looking for someone. Have you seen a young girl a little shorter than me with bright pink hair? I'm pretty sure that guy's Blake, by the way, because he looks like a nice trainer. Can't say I have. Aren't you the gym leader from the Lapis Ward in Reborn City? Eep, he knows me. Yes, sir, I am. Right. K. Um, and what's your name? Nonya. Huh? I said it's Nonya. Okay, I don't believe that for a second. Nanya B. Snez. Okay, there's probably a joke to that, but I'm not understanding it. Get out of here already. Um, okay. Why does everyone react like that? Every time I asked someone here if they knew a girl with pink hair, they just awkwardly refused to talk and ended the conversation. It's like they're trying to keep her from us. Well, that pretty much says that, uh, Heather is the guardian angel of their town then, doesn't it? Wait. Maybe that's it. One of the kids told me that he had sworn not to tell anyone about a guardian angel who was secretly giving out food. What if Heather is that person? And they just don't want to talk about her because they all sworn to keep the secret. But why would that be? Why would she need to keep something like that a secret? I'm going to go find out. Come on, Vero. Okay. Well, it seems we're not being forced into anything. I've been recording this episode for longer than I should be, so I'm going to stop here. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please leave a like rating to show your support for the playthrough. And be sure to leave a comment giving tips, advice, opinions, and letting me know about any event Pokemon that I may have missed. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already for more Pokemon Reborn videos, as well as other content like this. Uh, with that all being said and done, I shall see you guys in the next video. Until then.